Hi. This is Sarah, sometimes Hi. referred to as Pillow. And we referred to her in an earlier episode when we tried the dogfish head jihu, and I made the comment that it was the most awkward <laughs> thing I'd ever had in my mouth. And then we referenced our friend, Sarah, because she is Her Majesty, the one, the only, the awkward queen of awkward. Kneel before me. Oh. Wow. Kneel before Zod. <laughs> <laughs> what are we calling this, like a holiday cheer episode? Don't look at my dirty kitchen, I just made a bunch of... I'm food. looking at Bart. Okay. I think this seems to be like a mishmash of everything, we're trying everything that's here. But it's holiday cheer. Okay, dude, I just did this per this great zoom over to Bart, and you guys talked through it. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the introduction. Go uh, for it. <laughs> anyway, I'm wearing a suit. Why? It's laundry day. So in the magical reality... And no shoes, because why do you wear shoes in the house? Do you like vacuuming that much? I mean, really. No. I'm wearing a suit because it's laundry day, and in the magical reality that is YouTube TV land, we will live these gra glamorous lives, and instead of wearing our nastiest, most terrible looking clothes on laundry day, we wear three-piece suits. Anyway, so in the interest of weirdness and laundry day, we have, for our drinking pleasure this evening and for your watching pleasure, things that are not beer. What do we have? We have We have. Beer. We have. We have. We have. Not one, not two, but three different kinds of sake. But yes, we have things that are not beer. Also things that don't require beer openers. Two of them have these wonderful little pop-off tops that you just like with your finger because you don't need a beer opener. And this one screws off. It was suggested, I believe by a viewer, that we should do a sake night. So we have... Anyone who can help with Japanese pronunciation, go online, subscribe, and let us know how badly we've butchered these words. This is Seiri... I don't know. Oh. La ladies and gentlemen, I would like to state at this time that we have not yet actually imbibed alcohol. Now, this is about as sober <laughs> as it gets. Is it? Seiri? Yeah, see, I wasn't that bad. I am awesome. Haku Tsuru. This is a draft sake. Now, all of these said to serve chilled. And this is Zipang. It is a sweet yet refreshingly light made with only rice, water, and yeast. And apparently, it's a sparkling sake. So, this is the champagne of sake. Hopefully, not of questionable origin. So, yeah. um, so why, don't we, why don't we decide on one of these to drink now? We'll put the other two back in the fridge. Um, what should we start with? Okay, um, it does say that you have to shake it. Oh god, it's got shake, shake, shake. stuff. It is a coarse filtered sake. Please shake well before serving. Enjoy this creamy and naturally sweet sake. Chilled. It's not anything like the last sake I had that I needed to shake. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous in a good way or yes. ridiculous in a bad way? Okay. Ridiculous in a good way. Julian Brown and I used to have sake nights. I, I, I make... <clears throat> I am automatically suspicious. It's pink. I don't like pink things. Looking. This is the most anticlimactic opening ever. And you screwed it up. <laughs> I screwed up a screw down. Okay. And we don't actually have uh, well, pink. a it's sake like set yet. Okay, so maybe this is alright. The bottle's just pink. So we're using um, white wine glasses so that we don't heat it up too much. I think those are... Nonverbal communication. So, cameraman? <laughs> Guest? Oh, hand cam. <laughs> Clinky. 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 I'll stay out later. Don't die. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> it's sake. Look, look, look at the, cell, the sediment just kind of chilling out on the Honestly, glass. Honestly, this kind of looks like rice milk. So what they did is they took some rice dream and they added champagne. Unfortunately, in it. it smells like nail polish remover. I'm not buying <laughs> it. Mm. Uh, it's actually kind of... Yeah. Mm. 
cheap with the like the tub with the foam thingy that you put your finger in. This smells like the two dollar gin I bought the other day. <laughs> I bought two dollars in the other day. You are a brave. Woman. It does have a. It does have a a, 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 a surprisingly like you know cleaning product I'm, I'm chemically not, smell. I'm not. It'll be like that gin we used to get the hair dye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those were the good old days. Was this the same gin that you put on your wound from the window? <laughs> yes. That was a great time. I still tell people about that day. That was great. No, Laura. There is no, <laughs> no smoke in my in apartment. <laughs> not at all. It's smoking. We'll tell you later. <laughs> I can't get over the smell of this. <laughs> Here, I'm going to take a deep breath in and breathe out while I drink so I don't have to smell it. Good idea. Well, I'm... it tastes like it smells. Yeah. I really am not. This is turning my stomach. This is not sweet. Okay. <laughs> okay. The easiest way I can sum this up is take one part rancid rice milk and two parts cheap gin to four parts uh, nail polish remover and shake well. I think they just added champagne yeast to rice dream. That's all they did. This, this is... This is kind of heinous. Yeah. Have yeah. you gotten a chance to try it yet? No, I haven't. Let's go back to <laughs> rescue me from the camera. There we go. What's up? There. My cavalier hat. <laughs> This is gonna be great. Wow. The weird thing about this is I can almost see that it's meant to be. Hang on. I can smell the uh, acetone. It smells acetone. like acetone. Yeah. So. So it's <laughs> like I'm about to have some sort of a benzene marker uh, chaser. So. <laughs> I've had, um, I've had, uh, Jihu, Shate Jihu, so this is not as horrible as Shate Jihu, in my opinion. So, I, um, what I, I could drink this if I was wanting to just get drunk on something, but it would not be a, a taster's choice wannabe. It's one of those things where, uh... If there's nothing else around... And I need to get drunk. Not that we... Suggest that any of our viewers should drink to get drunk. That's a bad idea. <laughs> oh no, we wouldn't suggest that. No, we wouldn't. This is pretty horrible. <laughs> I, I figured out what this is. Someone in Japan saw Just... the show Firefly. And in the episode called Jane's Town, when they're in the Mutter's bar and they're talking about Mutter's milk, someone decided to make it. And they put it in a really fancy bottle. Do not be fooled, ladies, by the pink bottle with the pretty little flowers. This will probably take off your nail polish. I don't recommend drinking this. I'm terrified to think what this is doing to my inside. Oh, 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 oh. come close. This is an editorial. <laughs> I'm standing I'm back up for this because so you, you can get the arm shot. Um, Sarah, do you want your glass back, or, or, or... Well, I want the glass, not what's in it. Fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we think of this, whatever you call it, sake. <laughs> Where do they keep coming from? <laughs> well, at least now the toilet's clean. Yeah. Here you go, for you. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I, I like Japan and... Uh, Glad we did that one yeah, first. Yeah, that's, uh... Ew. This is, uh, Sayori. Uh... Cannot pronounce, cannot be drunk. Migori Sake Coarse Filter Sake Imported 12.5% <laughs> alcohol by volume. Ingredients, rice, rice koji. Contains 350 milliliters. Brewed and bottled in Akurutsuru Sake Brewing Co. Limited, Kobe, Japan. A product of Japan. We have this draft sake. Comes in a clear bottle. And it's 14% alcohol. <laughs> I just want to accent this with the light here just for a second. See if we can get a nice, it pretty... Is, it is like as clear as water. 
Yeah. The sake. I opposed the last one, which, well, you saw it. Dude, that's the you Japan. Drank it. It. That's the Japan Airlines emblem on the. Uh, I think that's the Japan Air Airlines emblem. On the, ofi the official beer of Japan Airlines. If you sake, have, not it's sake. beer. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a beer show. Everything is beer. Okay, so if the United States Congress can redefine tomato sauce as a vegetable, we can call sake beer. Alright, I'll get on board with that. Point. <clears throat> anyway, so <laughs> is, is this the official sake of the of Air Japan or whatever it is? You, ever, you tell us. If you've ever flown on Air Japan or whatever it's called, please tell us what it's called. And also, if this is the sake they serve. Do they serve sake on Japanese airplanes? I, don't know. I would hope so. Well, that's dang. beautiful. Huh? That is right wonderful. Off. Does it smell better than the last 14 one? 14% alcohol by volume. It doesn't smell like nail polish remover, if that's what you're saying. Well, that's a step up. I, I like that plan. But uh -huh. I think that's a... Well, we got to make sure they're all... Yeah. Okay. I like how it looks like it's one of those uh, British bottles of milk. Right? Uh, <laughs> it looks like, except it, 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 it's completely clear like water. Not even one of those things where it kind of looks like a bad vodka or anything. It looks like water. Uh-uh, we still got some left. This one. That's... I'll take the small one. Ish. Oh, God. Might be off sake for a while. You want to try and attempt? There we go. Yeah, we we should make this clear. We're doing this again. Like I said earlier, because someone said, "Hey, you guys should do something involving sake." That's right, viewers. We put ourselves through all this suffering and run just tasting stuff so for you. you. Don't have this to. doesn't smell. This is almost you, smells like a wine. You know, like a. It know. smells a little bit like a riesling. It doesn't smell well, like acetone. You know what this smells like? Hmm. This smells like the time. Oh no. That I poured vodka into a glass, not realizing that there was wine in it. Hold up one second. Let me uh, get the reaction. We're all, we're all it just. Smells like vodka wine. You know, it wasn't bad tasting vodka wine. It's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. It's like a uh, rice. Yeah. Oh, it's a well, I mean, being to the last compared to the last thing, this is smooth as water. Yeah. And for how strong it is, this is probably one of the easy, smoothest sakes I've ever had. About to find out. Okay. I'm not the biggest sake fan in the world, but this is nice. It's creamy. Like, it has a creamy texture to it. It's true. The mouthfeel is very like, round and, and squishy. And it doesn't burn going down, and it's just very nice. It, it has flavor, and then it's gone. Though on the way down, it, it does remind you, albeit very gently, that it is 14%. Like, hey, 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 listen, you know, Just FYI. Booze. Just so you know, booze. Yeah. They're very nice. I'll give this a solid. I'm still not a sake person. Better than the last one. Solid better than the last a one. Solid better than the last one. <laughs> Remember how we were saying earlier that um, that cloudy sake in the pink bottle, the nasty, nasty shite, was just rice dream with champagne yeast? This could be considered the champagne of sake. It is a sparkling sake. Zipang. That's right, folks. It's got bubbles. Before you open it, um, does it hang? <laughs> this is what, sort of one of the things that we do. We need to have a shot between breasts. I was say, you just want to get uh, my boobs on the camera. Oh, well, yeah, we do. Because boobs. Why wouldn't we? They sell. Higher? They do. A little higher? higher, higher more higher, boobs, higher, higher. more views. Higher. Plus kitties. More boobs. Say boobs and kitties. Because what do people want? Go for it. Guess Do I just so. pull it? Yeah. I'll yeah. open the champagne of questionable origin. Okay. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Oh, look at that. How's it smell? It smells like bubbles. Ooh. It smells like bubbles. Watch this be the favorite of the night. Okay. Whoa. You're going to want to tilt the glass and have it fall against the side of the glass. Yeah, we're doing the rest of them. The rest of them weren't sparkling. Mmm, look at that. That looks like a... Wow, that looks like a very, very clear champagne. 
That looks nice and tasty. I always go for the medium shot. Yeah. I'm there. <gasps> Kitchen! Okay, this is our secret plot in order to get more views. What do people go on the internet to look at? Boobs, Boobs and kitties. And kitty cats. Oh god, you're all wet. What did you get into? The tub. Have you been drinking beer? Okay, this is where I do the hand thingy. This is the three stooges are attacking. Actually, that would be Dr. John Zoidberg. <laughs> Same thing, but. Oh, it looks delicious. I bet. I'm excited about this. Huh? Why not Zoidberg? You all still have Zoidberg. Okay, this smells like more like sake than the last one. Oh, I love the bubbles. It kind of has that. Uh... Oh, the bubbles, the bubbles. It's got bubbles. I can. Uh, I get like this spectral flavor on the end, like I'm having a grape juice or something. But it's a very, very, very. Not, not, not heavy, but just sort of very light. But it's, um, maybe well, it's because I expect it to be bubbly. You know, it's just. A, like a, it's not very carbonated, so I wouldn't call it sparkling. I'd call it semi sparkling, because we need to be all like trendy and hip and whatnot. So, however, it's got these nice, nice light citrus notes. It's very, very, very clean mouthfeel. It goes down nice and easy. Sarah. So, okay, here's where I stand on this one. I have nothing to complain about the sake. I also have nothing particularly good to say about the sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's generic, semi-bubbly. I could probably slam this down and not even notice it. So. So it's a good drinking sake. Cheers. So, <laughs> so what's the alcohol percentage on it? Seven point something. Okay. Here oh yeah, that's like water to me. Oh, oh my god, that's such a lovely shot. Let me zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I want to try it out. <laughs> okay, so you liked it, Nate? Yeah. yeah, I liked it. I mean, it's not like I'd go... Yeah, yeah, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd buy Zapang again. I would buy Zapang again. That's that's probably the best thing we've heard all night, so... Oh, yeah, I'd buy that again. Hmm? Yeah, I actually like this one. Yeah. It's very refreshing. Zapang! Yeah, so Japan, you're doing something good. I like this. This is this is tasty. I'm going to put this down, and if you do that again, I'm going to try to get an extreme close-up on the bottle. All right. Because I haven't done any extreme. I can face this one just to see it. Zippin! Oh, that's too extreme of a close-up. <laughs> <laughs> too extreme of a close-up. Okay, tell you what. Why don't I back up some? <laughs> and on the eighth day, the Lord God said there is no Our neighbors, that's not my phone, are probably like, what the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> I love it. I like it. I would I would drink this again. This is, this is, um, actually, if you know somebody who likes unusual spirits, this is kind of a nice little holiday stocking stuffer. It's bright, it's happy, it's bubbly, and... Gets you drunk. Goes down nice and easy. Bart, want to well this? with cheese. Want to read the back? Zapang bills itself as, and these are bullet points, sweet yet refreshingly light, made with only rice, water, and yeast, contains no sulfite or preservatives, naturally carbonated.